It's the Azure Brigade folks I'm not too confident of. Even when they put their lives at risk to fight on our side? That could have been an alliance of convenience. They needed our support while they tried to take down Gustav. We don't know what they'll do now that they've strengthened their position. This is very delicate. If conflict does break out, lots of people could end up getting injured or killed. Sukasa, do you think we'll be able to maintain an alliance with the Azure Brigade? <sighs> From what I know right now, there's no way. Wait a minute, Tsukasa. The new leader of the Brigade, Conrad, seems like a really good person. On the surface, yes, but we've caught him in a serious lie. Really? You're sure about that? Remember Gustav's gold statue we wanted to melt down to help rebuild the city? When I asked where it was, he told me he really had no idea. However, I started to get the feeling he had hidden it for his own purposes. I noticed how hard it was for him to look me straight in the eye. His whole demeanor indicated he was lying right to my face. You're saying the Azure Brigade is going to line their pockets with that gold? I just knew it! I knew the temptation to take that statue would be too great. But if you suspected that, Tsukasa, why'd you say we'd bear the costs of rebuilding the city? There are two reasons. First, and most importantly, we have yet to confirm Gustav's death. <sighs> if he is still alive, he'll come back to try and steal that statue. We can use it as bait to capture him. And secondly, I don't believe exposing the Brigade's corruption will actually do them any harm at the moment. Why would that be? Because right now, public opinion in Gustav is with the Azure Brigade, right? Exactly. So the first thing we need to do is to make sure that the public's opinion is on our side. The best way to solidify people's trust is to ensure our rebuilding efforts are successful. Once that happens, we'll be able to effectively expose the Azure Brigade's corruption. Until then, we can let Conrad and his associates be as greedy as they want. Once their corruption is revealed, the money can be taken back by force. <laughs> if we're all agreed then, I want to give you some specific assignments going forward. Hold on just a moment, please. I know you're probably ready to charge into battle, but Tsukasa... Mm -hmm. ...and you, Ringo, mm -hmm. are both under orders to take five days of rest starting immediately. What? According to my monitoring of your vitals, both of you have remarkably weakened immune systems right now. If you keep pushing yourselves, Ringo will develop tonsillitis in five days, and Tsukasa will likely collapse with bronchitis in seven. Both conditions would require at least ten days for recovery. I suggest you both rest now while you can, and focus on pacing yourselves going forward. Seeing as how you're the medical expert, I guess I have no choice but to follow your orders, Doctor. <laughs> I appreciate it when patients listen to me. What a shock. The hardest working people here gave up without a fight. Really? I'm surprised they've been healthy this long. Vacation! Guess you're right. Hey, Ringo, how about this? Since we have to take a forced work break anyway, why don't we go on a tour of the city from beginning to end? Huh? <laughs> Right? 
You want to know how to get a lot closer to a man? <laughs> no problem. I can help with that. I've had many successful encounters with beings of the opposite gender. Really? What's your secret? Oh, nothing very difficult. I happen to have a talented pair of lips. You know how to use them to hold on to a man? I've had about a 70% success rate at resuscitation. Huh? Of course, there's not much that can be done when the wounds are too severe. In that case, you just have to hold their hands while they fight to survive. If they make it, a deep bond forms between warriors no matter which side they're on. I guess you could call it mutual respect, from one soldier to another. Do you know a way to get closer, without fighting for your life each time, with less blood? Well, you could try getting in the ring and sparring around with them. If you do that, the most effective thing to aim for is their groin. I recommend grabbing them by the testicles. What? The secret is to get a good grip on the family jewels. At that point, even the toughest guy will be completely incapacitated. See? Well, uh, thank you. I'll keep your advice in mind. Don't let them overpower you, Ringo. You want respect? Remember what I said. When they've got you on the ropes, go for the balls! You want to know how to start a relationship with a man? Uh-huh. Here's what worked for me. When you finally meet a person you like, Go see some beautiful scenery together, share some delicious food, and use the time to get to know each other. And after a while, once the two of you have grown close to one another, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's when you let them have it with a chloroform. Chlora? What? Yes, you soak a handkerchief in it until it's good and wet, then you simply place it over his nose and mouth until he passes out. After that, you take him somewhere out of public view where you can strip off his pants and underwear. After that, it's easy. You just practice what you learned about in sex ed class. <laughs> Was my advice helpful to you? Sure, uh, absolutely. Uh, what do I do? I don't know who to talk to. You seem troubled, Ringo. Huh? Is, is that you, Shinobu? Nin, Nin! I understand. So this is all about Tsukasa, right? Y yeah. Okay, girl, you've come to the right person. I'm very skilled in the art of coaxing a man into a trap and then keeping him from escaping. I don't want to entrap him. I was just hoping he and I could have a normal relationship. You're so naive, Ringo. Love is a hunt. You mean with weapons? Yes, except the weapons in this case are you and your skill. And the object is capture and release. I intend to teach you some ninja magic, young woman. Me, me! I was just hoping for some dating advice. First thing you need to remember. It's an iron rule. You must go to the rendezvous spot earlier than the man, so you can check it out. I'm doing as you instructed, Shinobu. So now what? <gasps> there he is! Today, I'm a love hunter! Ming, 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 ming! Kapow! Oh, there you are! <gasps> what are you doing back there, hiding? Good thing I looked around. <gasps> I almost missed you. Your face is a little red. Are you alright? <gasps> I'm fine. It's probably just a sunburn. Are you sure? We could do this another time. No, really, I feel okay. Let's go on the tour. It should be interesting. I know it's a little bit early to eat, but maybe we could get lunch at that place you told me about. Sure! Oh. It's gonna be hard to tour if we're recognized everywhere. So, what should we do? Hmm. Wait a minute. Here I am. So, what do you think? He looks so awesome! He's cool and cute at the same time! He's even more attractive than he is in his normal clothes! 
Ringo? Hello, Ringo. <laughs> you look very good in that outfit. You really think so? <laughs> Thanks for that. By the way, you're looking pretty cute yourself. Look at them. So pretty. Beautiful. Are they Biuma nobles? They light up the square. Uh huh. Looks like we're still attracting attention, but it shouldn't interfere with our tour. Yes, I suppose you're right. I'm so intimidated. He probably thinks I'm terrible company. Listen, Ringo. When the time's right, you can't lose your nerve. You need to line up your target, pull the trigger, and bag your trophy. I have to get in the right frame of mind. Today, I'm a love hunter. The first thing I should do is to find some way to casually take hold of his hand. If you find it too difficult to make that move yourself, then your only alternative is to try the nuclear option. You pretend to slip, and being a gentleman, he'll grab your hand to keep you from falling. You win. You've now accomplished your objective. You walk down the street holding hands like lovers. If I don't do this, I won't be able to get close to him. So I have to do it. Are you alright? What happened? It's okay. I must have just slipped. I see. These streets are bumpy. But don't worry, we're here. What? This is it, right? The place you were telling me about the other day? Yes, it is. What a lucky break. 